Hello and welcome to today's YouTube episode. On today's sewing adventure I'm going to be talking about all of the me made garments that I wore on my most recent holiday. So let's get started. So just a little bit about what I'm wearing today. Today I'm wearing the Paper Theory Zadie jumpsuit and this one is in this gorgeous linen viscose fabric. It is the Linnea print from Fabric Godmother. I really love wearing the Zadie jumpsuit. It is very, very comfortable and very practical, and it is perfect for this time of year. I did actually pack this one to take away on holiday with me, but because we were in Lisbon in Portugal, it was a little bit warm to wear this jumpsuit as it's got the long trouser legs on it. So I didn't wear this one on holiday, but I did pack it and take it in my suitcase with me. So I had never been to Lisbon before, so I was really excited to go and it was such a fantastic place to visit. All of the amazing buildings were just so beautiful with the tiles on. It was lovely to soak up some of the warm weather, some of the sunshine, to see something different and to experience all of the beautiful spaces and places that were in Lisbon. It really was a wonderful holiday. Now, I'm not a travel blogger, <laughs> as you may be aware, I talk about my clothes, so that's what I'm mostly going to be talking about today, but I do have some snippets of some clips that I took when we were away, um, so I hope you enjoy seeing those. Again, I'm not a travel vlogger or blogger, so, you know, we'll just have to see how we go with that. I'm not planning on changing anytime soon either. So, yeah, so I hope you enjoy today's episode, and you can let me know what you think in the comments box below. I always really love to hear what you've got to say. So today's YouTube episode is all about the things that I took away on my holiday to Lisbon with me and I wore when I was away. So the first thing that I'm going to show you is this. Now this is the Erin dungarees from Tilly and the Buttons and I didn't actually wear these in Portugal. I wore them on the plane. Now they are super comfortable. This corduroy fabric actually has a bit of stretch in it as well so it's literally perfect for sitting on the plane. With this one I decided to line it with this lovely Liberty lawn fabric so it's got the lovely lining on the inside and then it's got these gorgeous ties that's how it's fastened um, and I decided to put the, the fabric on the back of there as well so you can kind of see it every now and then so that was a perfect thing to wear on the plane. I also put that one with my tried and tested solar tea. This is the paper cut patterns solar tea. I think this is its third summer so it's still going strong. I think at some point I will have to dye it, fabric dye it, because it is white but it's starting to kind of look a bit grubby in places. So I will just dye it a darker shade and then I'll be able to keep wearing it for longer. So that was my first outfit. You should have seen a picture of me wearing that on the way to the airport. Um, super comfy, perfect for traveling. Um, and also starting the day off in the UK, it was a bit cooler. So it was good to have these long trousers as well. So on the first day of our holiday, we did a lot of walking. So the outfit I chose for that was the Tilly and the Buttons Mabel dress. Now this one is made from a fabric from the Fabric Corner in Lincoln. And I have talked about this one on my YouTube before. So if you've watched the episode with that in, you should be quite familiar with this one. Now this was perfect because obviously it was quite a bit warmer in Portugal than it is in the UK so this long skirt kind of provided me with the shade that I wanted to cover my legs a bit more and also my shoulders were covered which is always super handy and the top half of my arms. I did have to put sun cream on my chest and on my back just to kind of protect those areas um, but yeah it was perfect it was super comfortable and really lovely to wear um, all day long and obviously the shearing elastic makes it look really lovely but is also very very comfortable to wear so it was perfect for a day of walking and exploring Lisbon in the sunshine. So here you can see we are on the tram and you can see these, those beautiful buildings with the lovely tiles on and then when we come to this bit we actually pass another tram 
and then you can see a little bit of the landscape in the background and more of the beautiful buildings too. So the second day of our holiday, we did visit Castello de Georges, which is the castle in Lisbon. So it was another day of quite a lot of walking and um, sightseeing. So I needed to again wear something that was comfortable, but also quite cool. So I decided to wear this. Now this is the Merchant and Mills Alice dress. And the Alice dress is the one that doesn't have the sleeves. Now I love wearing this one. I've had it for about two years and it's got these lovely patch pockets which are really practical and it's just a super comfortable dress and this one is made in a bamboo viscose fabric that I got from Fabric Godmother obviously a couple of years ago and this dress is just super comfortable to wear it's also quite warm because it's got the bodice which gives you a little bit of warmth but then it's got this lovely long length again which kind of protects your legs from the sun now I did have to wear sun cream on my shoulders because obviously I didn't want them to burn and um, so that was something that I did have to do but it was a really really lovely one to wear. I also took with me the deer and doe I think it's pronounced Nenifer jacket um, and that was really good because when it got too sunny I just put that over the top and it kind of covered my shoulders and it wasn't too hot to wear so this is another viscose linen fabric um, and yet, again, this is just quite a loose fitting jacket. So this kind of just gave me a little bit of coverage over my shoulders from the sun. So that was a really lovely combination to it. You should be able to see some pictures of that one on the screen. Now, two other items I had that day was my hat. One of them was my hat. So this hat obviously is um, matching this fabric. But also, the wonderful thing about this hat is it's reversible as well, so it's got denim on the other side. So you should be able to see pictures of me wearing this one as well. And I look a bit like a tourist. And then I also did take my bum bag. Remember this one was based on the fennel fanny pack. And it was made from the embroidered tablecloths. So I did take that one as well, and that was really practical. I got all my kind of precious items in there and then we did have a backpack and a tote bag with kind of like water bottles and sun cream and stuff like that that we needed to carry that was slightly bigger but not so precious so yeah so that was what I wore on that day and the hat is amazing this is the Rebecca Page wide brimmed hat I'll put it on now for you so you can see so it is really really lovely and it provides quite a lot of shelter from the sun which was fantastic and again you know it was nice to wear this hat. So that was what I wore on the second day. And here is the gorgeous view from Castello de Georges. Looks over the city, it's absolutely fantastic. And in the grounds of the castle, they had these gorgeous peacocks, which were really, really beautiful. And this one was showing us its feathers, so that was really lovely. Now on the second day we also found an amazing haberdashery shop, actually two gorgeous haberdashery shops side by side. So in my little pouch here I've got some buttons that I bought at the haberdashery shop and that is really beautiful little resin buttons which I loved and I got quite a few different colours <laughs> and so that's a lilac one, I'll take a photo so you can see them on the screen. All together so yellow so they're just really gorgeous buttons I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do with them yet but I just really wanted to buy them when I saw them there's this gorgeous pink one as well so I did take a little clip of me shopping for these buttons in the shop and yeah I'll show that to you as well so you can see inside the shop, there was this glorious wall full of these lovely boxes of buttons. And that is where I chose my buttons from. And now you can see me having a walk about. They also had like ribbons and elastics and other haberdashery things as well. But it was the buttons that I really loved. And then you can see also, this is the shop front of the shop next door. So on the last day of our holiday, we went to a place called Berlin. 
and it is kind of like a little bus journey. It's about half an hour bus journey out of central Lisbon. So what I wore on that day was this. This is my Tilly and the Buttons Suki dress. And this one is made from a viscose fabric that I got a very, very long time ago. Um, and it's, I really enjoy wearing it because it's got these lovely tigers on it. Um, so yes, I really enjoy wearing the Suki and I love wearing green as well. Now the Suki is super fantastic because it is literally just very simple to make. It's just got a facing around the neck. It's got these grown on kind of little sleeves so you don't have to insert a sleeve. And it just basically goes straight down. So what I do is I tie a little belt that I made from the same fabric around just to give it a bit of shape. And this one is really comfortable to wear for the whole day. And I really enjoy wearing this one. So the day that we went to Berlin, we went to visit the monastery and also the Tower of Berlin. So you should be able to see some photos of those places. And I do have a little clip of that. It was such a beautiful place and it was really worth the trip to see all those amazing sights and it was such a fantastic, beautiful, warm day. So it was really, really worth it. So here is the lovely Tower of Berlin. It was really beautiful and it just sits out in the middle of the river. So very pretty tower. This was the fountain with the monastery in the background and the next clip you're going to see is inside the monastery so it was a very beautiful place um, very decorative and really lovely to visit inside so this brings us to the last thing that I took on my me made holiday and that was my pajamas now these are the Agnes paper theory pajamas made in this beautiful double gauze fabric that I got from Merchant and Mitts. Now obviously this is the shorts version that I took and I wore and they were just perfect. You obviously don't want to be too hot but you want to be warm at night so that was absolutely fantastic. Really practical, really comfortable, sleep in them like quite often anyway so it was good to have them on holiday with me as well. And then on the very last day of our holiday when we came home I just wore the Erin dungarees and the t-shirt as well. And that was actually a really good choice because when we arrived back in the UK, it was actually quite cool. So it was good to be wearing something that was slightly warmer. So that was my all of my outfits that I wore when we were away on holiday in Lisbon. So one item which was really fantastic on the whole holiday was this bum bag. And the reason for that is it was because it kept everything really safe. And obviously I wear it across my body like this. So it means that, you know, everything, I can see it. I know exactly where it is. It's right in front of me. It was really handy at the airport. It obviously had my phone in it and it had the passports in it and everything that we needed. And also what was really good about this one at the airport was it kept my crochet in it. So you should be able to see a picture of me on the screen at the moment. Um, crocheting on the plane. I also crocheted on the way to the airport in the train as well and while we were waiting for the plane we had to wait for a while it was a bit of a delay so yeah it was really fantastic to have my crochet with me and to do that. I am making granny squares at the moment for the jelly vest. It is a Hollywood wood designs pattern. I'll put the link in the descriptions box below for that one and it's a lovely um, granny square cardigan. So that's what I was crocheting on the plane and on the way to the airport. In case you're wondering what happened to Patsy, I know that Patsy is a regular feature on my YouTube. So obviously she was looked after all week by the dog walker, a lovely dog walker boards dogs as well. So she stayed there for the whole time and she had some of her dog friends visit her during the day for walks and also sometimes she even had dogs stay over with her as well at the dog walker's house. So that was super fantastic. On the screen at the moment there is a picture of Patsy on one of her walks and every day the dog walker will send us clips and photos of what Patsy's been up to that day. So it's really good when we're not here to know that she's been looked after so beautifully 
and it really was wonderful to come home to her and have some lovely cuddles and it's really lovely to be home and have her back as well. So that is it for today's YouTube episode. I really enjoyed making this one and sharing it with you. I hope you enjoyed watching it as well. Please let me know in the comments box below what you thought and I really enjoy hearing what you have to say. Thank you so much for watching this episode. Thank you so much if you have already subscribed. If you haven't subscribed yet, I would really appreciate it if you could do so. And also if you could like this clip, that would mean a lot to me as well. I hope you have a wonderful day, afternoon, evening, whatever time it is for you, and I'll see you here again soon.